The European Union and the British High Commission in Nigeria have reiterated their commitment to supporting Nigeria's democracy as the nation turns 62 after independence. The envoys made the commitment today at Nigeria's 62nd independence anniversary celebration in Abuja. Ms. Mela Isopi, ambassador of the European Union to Nigeria, and the ECOWAS said Nigeria is a work in progress just like any country in the world. Always, um, you know, work in progress for every country, and I think Nigeria uh, has really made a huge, huge progress, especially if you think about uh, uh, democracy, uh, if you think about all the progress that has been made uh, since the return to the civilian rule. So I really think that Nigeria is a country with a huge potential, uh, and uh, we really hope that it will continue to develop that potential in the future. And the European Union, as a partner, will continue to support uh, that process and to support Nigeria. British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lang, said Nigeria, at 62 years after independence, calls for reflection on the bond between the UK and Nigeria. Things that we would like to see Nigeria do better, but there has been progress, and I think one really important area of progress is democracy. Since 1999, you've stuck with it in a region that's very unstable. Nobody questions the president stepping down. Um, everyone sees that Nigeria's elections have continued to improve. There's always room for improvement, but I think the democratic journey is one great achievement for Nigeria. Other Nigerians called for the need for citizens to be helpful and unite to overcome the numerous challenges facing the country. Mr. Mohamed Jamal, also known as White Nigerian, said there were many things to be hopeful for as Nigeria celebrates 62 years of independence. In this country. I think that's the only way to move this country. That's, that's the first step to move this country forward, is to fight insecurity. And once you fight insecurity, then you can now focus on education. Because with insecurity now, a lot of people cannot go to school, children cannot go to school. And by the time they are not in school, you know, all those kids can now be doing things that they're not supposed to be doing. And, you know, so insecurity plays a big, big role, um, you know, with the, with the... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.